Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get the multi-column selector list box values in VBA user form. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output. I'm selecting the student number 3 Vijay is India. Now I am selecting the student number 2, 2 Peter New Zealand. If I select 1, 4, see here. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous video. In that video I have explained how to get the multi columns into a single list box using VBA code in user forum. If you don't know how to add multi columns into a single list box, you can find that video in my Excel uh, playlist videos or you can find in the i card button. So let's start the tutorial. Now today's tutorial is if a user selects any particular record uh, from this list box, the user selected the student number 3, the name is Vijay in India. I want to display this selector record here in the bottom with a button control. So let's start the tutorial. Close this. Now first we require one button control. In the toolbox, I am adding one button control here. Let's change the button control name to click or get record whatever you want get record and we'll increase the size bold to all okay now after that i want to display the selected multi-column row into this label control so let's expand this label up to here we'll increase the font size for this label bold well, okay let's delete this default caption label one now the code is in the user form get record button control double click that one here we got the command button one click event now the code is label the label one dot caption is equals to um, now the list box one dot list in this list I need to add the the column index here from this list box so I'm adding the list box one dot column uh, column index list index sorry list index list index the column number is zero Again, I'm adding some space. Instead of writing the same thing, I'm copying here. This is list word zero. I'm just changing this one is one. This is zero. The first one is zero which is a student number this is one and this is two so let's minimize this so this is a code I have just changed the index column number only zero one two that's it let's check the final output Now let's check the final output. I'm selecting the student number 3 Vijay is India. Now I'm selecting the student number 2, 2 Peter New Zealand. If I select 1, 4, see here. I'm getting the multi column selected row from a list box using VBA user form code. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.